Beaumont peoples, what's up? My name is Jason and I'm from the Shelf Stories YouTube channel. And I'm here in the Dice Tower today to review Medici the Dice Game. Uh, this is a roll and write game with the Medici IP. Yes, the same Medici, uh, uh, all designed by Rana Canizia, this, uh, this game as well. Uh, the original Medici was a bidding game. Um, and then there was a card game implementation. Uh, and now this is the third in the line, I guess, which would be the dice game implementation. Uh, as I said, roll and write for uh, one to four players. Uh, let me go ahead and show you how it plays, and then I'll come back and tell you all about it. So without further ado, let's go to the videotape. All right, welcome to Medici, the dice game. Uh, so uh, like any roll and write, very component light, or most com roll and writes anyway. Uh, so you got your scoring pad, you got your pencil, and also your dice. These are custom dice, uh, slightly different e each single one. Uh, every dice will have uh, one of five goods as well as a gold uh, value. And the different goods uh, score differently uh, depending on what number is on them. So then you have your, I think this is fabric, grain, dye, I, I don't know, <laughs> purple, orange, blue. You get the idea. So uh, every round, uh, a player is going to roll. Okay. So, uh, oh, not a bad roll for me. What I'm going to do on my turn is I'm going to select between one and three in order to jot down uh, my score sheet. So let's say I take all three of these uh, to increase my uh, majority over here. Uh, so I took three die, uh, three dice. So then I would indicate that I have three goods loaded on my ship. I would also indicate the scores. So this is the, mon this is the, the money line. Uh, where you actually going to represent any, uh, eventually score uh, your points. This bottom row is just where you're going to keep a running total of what you have. Okay, so I scored eight points on that. Uh, so that's my turn. Uh, I could have chosen less uh, if I wanted to, but, you know, um, between one and three. And now my opponent gets to go. Uh, so normally in a regular, you know, any other games, getting zero would be bad. But in this particular case, if my opponent got this zero, they would collect uh, credit for two. Um, so let's say they were scoring on their own sheet, they would indicate uh, two uh, majorities on the uh, the actual ship itself. Uh, and then another opponent would take, you know, the one and they would indicate that on there. So it's going to keep on going. Um, you know, uh, the next player is going to pass turn and everybody's going to choose. So let's say, you know, five, two, one, zero. Okay, I'm scoring. I'm just pretending. <laughs> I'm playing along. All that kind of stuff, right? So then that's what a round is going to look like. I'm going to be rolling, rolling. Uh, and then uh, then the scoring round happens. So then what I'm going to do is I am going to indicate my running score up here. And then I'm going to check majorities against what my opponents have. So let's say I score, I was able to score some majorities in my orange. <laughs> I keep on wanting to call it grain. It's orange <laughs> just to make it easy. Uh, so then if I do get a majority, I would score 10 points, uh, don't have anything there, uh, zero. And then if I, uh, let's say I was here, I was tied with two players. We both get the 10 points. Um, if you're playing with three or four players, you would get the second place player would get five points. Normally the second place player gets nada, zilch, at least in a two player game. Uh, so, you know, kind of like, uh, going on down 10, 20, and then I would score, 36 for the round and then you repeat you know you go uh you know second round you feel your ship again third round you feel your ship again these majorities are going to increase as you increase your majorities you'll get bonus points uh so and then at the end of the game just add it all up most points wins solo game is a little bit different so let's go ahead and uh demonstrate a solo game for you i got plenty of paper don't worry about that guys <laughs> Uh, so the solo game works basically the same uh, in terms of your core action. You're going to be oh, sorry about that. Going to be rolling your dice. You're going to be selecting dice just like you are in the multiplayer game. So let's say I got three, two, zero, three, five, five, and that will indicate that I have some majorities over here. I got my zero, so I would get credit for two, and then. Uh, you would draft for the opponent. So then the opponent doesn't get any score, but they do circle one. So they're kind of like chasing you on the majorities track. So then I gave them a zero, so then they would be uh, equivalent with me. Uh, at the end of the scoring round, you would, uh, if you score, you either score 20 points or nothing. <laughs> 
Like if you if you hit the twenty point threshold, then you can add your score. If you don't, then you get nothing. Um, and then if you, I think it's if you score thirty, you get like an extra. Uh, and then if you outrace your a, a bot opponent in majority, so like let's say I was here, I would get credit for that. But then the bot held, caught up with me, I would not get credit for this. And if the bot makes it all the way down to row nine, then they have majority permanently. So that's basically it. You know, same thing. One, two, three, add up your score at the end. Uh, and that is a full rundown of Medici, the dice game. All right, so that was Medici, the dice game. So it is in the line of the, the regular board game and the card game. Uh, they're all three very different um, but I actually admire uh, one particular thing that is a kind of a through line between all three games, um, the scoring system. So what happens in the, uh, in the base game of Medici, like I mean, actually uh, all three of them is that you're going to have these assets you're going to be acquiring and the assets have two aspects to them. It has uh, that good, you know, like the dye and the silk or the purple and the brown or whatever. Uh, so it has the uh, every single asset, either a card or a dye or whatever. Uh, it's going to have those two assets, and um, you're going to be uh, acquiring them. And you have to kind of figure out how they jibe with the rest of what you got going on in terms of what you're personally building. So, you know, I mean, do you go for points? You know, do you go for that giant, you know, whatever, it's five point, seven point uh, thing and try to get majorities, that, uh, try to get that, you know, along that way? Or do you kind of sacrifice on your points and go for the good and because you want to score monopolies because, uh, you know, you want to try to get, uh, you know, sometimes a low, a, a low point value good will be more valuable for you than a high point value something else. Uh, so that is kind of the core decision space created by that scoring system uh, in, in terms of a turn to turn decision. And then you, you know, it kind of uh, pairs with what's going on at the end of the round. So at the end of the round, you... Um, it has that thing where you, you, that, that plays out, like the decision uh, plays out how much you comboed uh, all your different things. And then uh, all three games, they have that moment where it's like, okay, who has majority? You get points and then reset to zero. Uh, okay, who has majority and that reset to, reset to zero start the second round? So it's not one of those games that's like, you know, kind of like runaway leaderish where you kind of like combo, 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 score, score, score. It's like, okay, we're going to take a breath here. Uh, at the first round, second round, third round, and we're gonna see who has what, and then we restock, and then you can kind of like reset your brain and relook at the board and be like, okay, what do I want? Um, so that is present in all three games, and I really appreciate that. Having said that, they all do something differently, right? So uh, Medici, the base game is a bidding game, a straight up bidding game. You know, you're 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 bidding your points uh, against. You know, trying to acquire cards, you know, you're trying to minim uh, minimize the points that you spend and maximize the points that are coming in uh, and just total like bidding. And if you, you could really <laughs> I have uh, traumatic, traumatized memories of really failing at that game because I'm terrible at bidding. But, you know, whatever. It's a good game. Um, the card game doesn't have any bidding whatsoever as a push your luck. So, you know, you're you're building your majorities, you're drawing from a deck and then it's like, oh, you know, uh can I you know, push this? Because if I get the right card, then I'm just going to explode my score by, you know, I double it basically, or if, or if I bust or whatever, you know, very different, uh, very, very different uh, feel to it. The dice game, uh, it's really a math exercise. There's no bidding. There's no push your luck. That the, some of the gamer things that we've really I kind of like come to love, um, you know, in terms of like, you know, decision, like, you know, act, active decisions, are are active mechanisms, active levers you can pull. I should probably say it that way. Active levers that you can pull, uh, gamer wise. Uh, this game doesn't have that. What this game has, is like you roll, and then you, it, you all of a sudden, like the the the, the spreadsheet has to come out. Uh, if I take that five, then I get to increase my points. But if I take that five, then someone else is going to take that zero, and they're going to increase their majority. <laughs> and I, I just feel like um, it's a it's almost like a competitive math exercise. Um, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, there are people who, who really enjoy that. I guess um, I missed, you know, some of the kind of gamery levers that you can pull in terms of, like, changing, um, you know, exercising a little bit more agency. 
um, it's all in the math and it's all in, you know, uh, you know, how well you calculate and then how well you can keep track of what's on your opponent's score or the, if you're playing a bot, how the bot is kind of keeping up with you. Actually, uh, the thing I forgot to mention was it doesn't even have like a re-roll thing. Like, you know, a lot of rolling rights have like, you know, oh, I didn't like that roll. Okay, I'm going to cross this off. I get two per game and I'm going to just like re-roll and do it again. I think I like quicks or, um, you know, uh, pin, I just played Super Skill Pinball. That one has like a, you know, a tilt thing. There's nothing. Just roll and get what you get. What you get. Uh, and some people might really enjoy the simplicity. It's a Ryan Knizia design. He, he designs for simplicity. You might really enjoy that. Uh, final thoughts for me, I'm going to go six out of 10. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this game. There really isn't. I mean, there's, this is a very, very solid, um, you know, entry into the rolling rights system. Does it uh, rise above anything that you may have experienced in rolling rights? There's like a billion of them. Does it do, does it stand out from them? You know, I, I, I don't think it has enough gamer levers to pull in order to really do that. It, it, it you either love the math exercise of it or, you know, uh, you don't. So, um, but again, uh, you know, nothing wrong with this game. This game is perfectly uh, solid. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please go ahead and check out my channel, which is Shelf Stories uh, right there. Uh, I talk about uh, mental health issues because I'm a mental health therapist. I also have conversations with gamers uh, and all sorts of uh, good stuff. I have a lot of fun on that channel. Hope you, enjoy, hope you uh, can stop by and visit. And also hope you can subscribe to me on Twitter. I am at Shelf Stories GBL. All right, uh, this is Jason reminding you, if you can change your mind, you can change the world. So until next time, later, everybody.